Nice like this. Yo. Yo. I wish raindrops would fall. Oh, that ain't the temptations, though. I don't, <laughs> hey, I don't be knowing my groups. I don't be knowing my groups. You know how niggas be shit. I was born in 91, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Just use that excuse. <laughs> oh, now this is about to be fun, B-Lug. I'm, gl- I'm, I'm glad you start early. I- nah, I'm glad you start early. Nah. I ain't want to be the only asshole in this interview. I'm glad, be luck. I'm glad. <laughs> hey, let's get it good. Well, shit, well, welcome to the After Party Podcast. I'm shit. After Party E. No, I'm Talut, man. Ta- Talut the rock star. Hey, ooh, you look real cool over there, Talut. I think I'm going to change it up every time. I'm a rock star today. You might as well, man. Well, this episode is brought to you by Ubon Fest. Make sure y'all go get y'all tickets at ubonfest.com. That's U-B-A-H-N fest.com. Um, the headlines is, of course, Gucci... Big Sean, Two Chains, uh, Steve Aoki, like I told you his name was. Man, it's Aiko. That's I'm trying to tell you that's your <laughs> name, my guy. <laughs> but yeah, man, make sure y'all go get y'all tickets, man. Tyloo, how was your week, man? Shit, I feel like I just came from jail when I had work yesterday. I was I was just in one spot yesterday. I mean, I, work is definitely the white man's trap house. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It definitely is. My, my, my week was, I felt like it was slow. I did the same thing every day. I just worked. Yeah. You had something that you wanted to tell me that you said you wasn't going to tell me till we got here. We're here. What you talking about? You ain't got no 411 or nothing? Nah, what you talking about? Oh, okay. I was just making sure. I thought you said you was going to tell me something on air. Nah, bro. What you... <laughs> what you bro talking about? <laughs> what you got to say, bro? You nah, I ain't got nothing shit. to say, man. My week, was, uh, my week was all right. Motherfuckers was mad at me this week, G. Mm-hmm. Why? Uh... Scally was pissed at me. Scally was damn so Scally pissed. Scally was definitely pissed at me. He was pissed at the everybody as the staff, record labels, <laughs> motherfucker. What, what Tupac say? A, he said, fuck company. after party as a staff, record label association. <laughs> hey, he was pissed. I mean, I don't want to address Scally. I'd rather wait and say it to Scally. But yeah, he was definitely pissed. Um, yeah, and just people in the city. They was, they was mad that I asked Cook about butter. But... That's what I'm supposed to do. Right. Like, I feel like I don't have this show for artists or for the guests. This show for is people. for the people that watch it, for, the, for fans. the fans. So if the fans got a question that they want answered, I'm going to ask that motherfucker every time. So The fans want to know something? Yeah. The fans definitely want to know something. The fans, Well, before we get to the fans, we got B-Luck that's going to be on here today. Yeah. I think the fans got a lot of questions for him. Yeah. And B-Luck already started. He, he was an asshole before the cameras got on. So. Yeah. We're going to have two assholes in the room today. <laughs> but before we get to be luck you want to get your ill nigga alert out the way, man? Ill nigga alert. Ill nigga alert. Man, my ill nigga alert this week, man. It, I, I just got it, man, because I just got my ill nigga. And I think I want to give it to both LeBron and KD. What? That don't make sense. I just want to give it to both of them. Why? Because I just feel like the whole little series is some bullshit. I feel like KD's a bitch. Everybody keeps saying KD's a bitch, and I definitely agree. KD, but KD's a bitch because just this whole little shebang with him with the uh, with the Warriors. Although KD is my favorite player, but he's a bitch. That's a bitch move. That, that I can't be your favorite. He player. is my favorite player, though. He's so like you can't guard. You can't guard That's not that. Your favorite player. At, at the end of the game, I want K, I want the Cavs to win, but I want to see how many KD had. You, but that's not that's not your favorite player. I know I'm, that's I'm some fucked you. up shit. I'm Maybe a, yeah. I'm the ill nigga. Yeah, you you give myself nigga. the ill you nigga. Know what? You know, you know, you know, you ain't no ill nigga. You a wishy washy. That's what you is. KD, like, I'll look, fuck with KD. Game, my man, favorite respect rapper. Jay-Z game. was going through Illuminati rumors, and I was still nope, not true. I would see the signs in the video. Nah, bro, nope, that's some bullshit. That's not, that's, that's that's how you. Ride I would. For your it just it just dope. don't like you just watch this game and you just like you just be like. This shit just like it's just some creative player shit. It's like some shit you see that you put together on motherfucking two K. It just ain't right. You know who I'm gonna get my ill nigga alert award to? Who is that? I'm gonna give it to these motherfucking Cincinnati bars. Cause I'm pissed, bro. Like I'm tired of seeing. I'm tired of Ivy. I'm tired of. The, I'm tired of the Cincinnati bar dress codes. Like mm-hmm. motherfucking. I want to try to go to scene. I think it was last week, and they was on some. Oh, you can't wear Jordans. Nikes or Tim's. That's how they be. What the fuck is the difference in a pair of Nikes and a pair of Adidas? Do niggas that wear Adidas not shoot or bring knives or something? Like, what the fuck is the difference? The shell toe look classy. 
I think my Nikes look classy too, nah, though. No, I don't want to look classy. I'm like, you about to go who? You, know, <laughs> you look like you play basketball with but jeans the end, on. Then they, told <laughs> the nigga, then they told the nigga, now they switched it like, oh, now you can't wear uh, jeans with, with, with holes in them or with cuts in them. Yeah. What? You know how dumb jeans, like, that's not like at least a little bit like raggedy look? Like, I put on a pair of jeans the other day that I had in the back of the closet that didn't have no distress in them. Mm. They looked it horrible mm -hmm. and it was just a regular pair of jeans but i'm like bro like what the fuck distressed jeans like ill nigga alert to the cincinnati bar especially that new uh tree house the little tree house bar you been there nah but they've been i've been seeing a lot of motherfuckers posting about them not letting people in like been on some little racist shit or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. i i i want you to i want to know some i want to i want your opinion on this so you know about tiny and um T.I., you know what I'm saying? Their little situation, whatever. Yeah, that with, bullshit. With it, you know what I'm saying? So, do you feel like T.I. winning in his situation? You know what I'm saying? Messing with, uh, what's her, what's shorty name? Bernice. Bernice, yeah. You feel like he winning messing with her, or you feel like he losing messing with her and giving up uh, Tiny? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. He winning? A hundred times. <laughs> the nigga said, won a hundred times of girls, and back. It's a lot of girls out here, they, they, in their opinion, they think he losing because... With Tiny, he started, you know what I'm saying? They they kind of built a little empire type shit. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be cleared up for these women, man. Yeah, like, they'd be know. like, oh, uh, he's not winning because that was his ride or die. Now he messing type with shit. a sack chaser. Yeah. At the end of the day, he got kids with Tiny. She's not going nowhere. Once you have a nigga's kids, you're stuck. Man, you're locked sense. in. So she's still going to ride. When you tell me if T.I. catch a case... She ain't going to still ride for him. What? That's still her kid's dad. You think she don't want her kids to have a dad? She going to still go bail the nigga out. So the nigga's winning. The nigga got the best of both worlds. He got his ride or die, but he fucking an IG model. I mean, listen, man. Like, you, know you can't have everything. You either going to be a ride or die, or you gonna, are you going to be bad? I feel like if he keep her as a side bitch, everybody will be happy. Boom. There it is. Hey, man. Listen. Boom. Last week I would hey get the camera off me come on guys <laughs> we in the middle of an episode and you won't be on some TMZ shit hey, you know what on, hot man. seat let's do hot seat yeah oh man all right so Dev I'm gonna tell you what hot seat is for you know because you may not know hot seat is where me and Tyloo are going to simultaneously ask each other questions until one person asks the other person a question that they just don't want to answer other person wins you ready. They on some bullshit, man. I'm, are are you ready? Yeah, bro. I'll go first. You want me to go? Nah, first? you go first. You go ahead. I want to bounce questions off of you. All right. So, what does Ty Loop mean? Um, Ty Loop means it's 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 an abbreviation of my 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 name, my sister name, my name, and my little sister name. It's and it means to me like family. And then I put the money at the end because I I thought we needed some money. I think we need some money. That's all we need. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For us to get yeah. what we need to get. So I made Talu. I just put it together. That was slick. That was that was that was cool. You fuck with that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, what made you want to do a podcast? I just really wanted to talk shit and I feel like I'm good at talking to people. So I figured it just it just all made sense. Plus, I'm I'm tired of working for Caucasians. Yeah. Yeah. I don't okay. want to be a Caucasian slave no more. Hey, you good, you good? at it. You good at it. <laughs> you know what I, I, I was going to take it light on you But you know what My next question I'm okay. skipping it okay. <laughs> I heard you're a Freemason What is that? It's a, a fraternity of men That believes in the brotherhood of men And the fathership of God It's not like he practiced that I yeah. just That's just how uh, Okay Okay <laughs> Go ahead hey, I mean it ain't nothing it's just, it's just a fraternity Just like any other college fraternity Alright it's your turn It's my turn? Yep Um Let's see here. So, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it hasn't been really asked, you know what I'm saying, around, but you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure people want to know. Want to know what? You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's at the party. He's single. He got a girlfriend or what? Like, you know what I'm saying? What type of lifestyle does you, do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm out here. I'm out here living like Will Smith, man. <laughs> You just don't see Jada. <laughs> you feel me? But just know there is a Jada. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I heard you got a toe fetish. Do you suck toes? <laughs> you know what? I know how to please my, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't think I, I actually know how to that. please the girl I'm with. You feel me? I suck toes. There and they is. like it too. Okay. And I'm good at it. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. It's on you. It's on me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me think of something good, man. This, this, this. Is, I mean, I'm just saying. You, I it's mean, it's getting there. It's, it's got to be a time limit on your questions, dog. Oh, Come on, man. Man, if Come it's gonna on. be a time limit, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna lose. Don't lose when you asking the question. That's a horrible way to man, lose. Man, I just gotta think of something. But the something I could think of is just be out the wall. Do what you gotta do, cuz. Nah, let me see. Hey, man. Can I get a Dev, can I get a five second countdown, Dev? Or this guy's about uh, to lose. How many pair of shoes do you have? Eight. Hey, all right, cool. All right, okay. Come on. What's the best pussy you ever had in your life? Wow. Wow. Palmer. Who? Palmer. The palm of my hand. Wow. Come That's on. the best pussy you've ever Bro, had in I your life. Ask, I ain't about to answer the questions. <laughs> all right, right, it's your Come turn, then. It's your turn. <laughs> Oh uh, damn! Judge. I lost. Is that an L? Thank you. That's hey. an L. That's an L because that's not the judge says that's not technically hey. pussy. <laughs> hey, you did good, dog. You, you did good, oh, man. Bro, it was some bullshit. <laughs> bro, some bullshit, man. Hey, What's I'm wrong feeling good with now, man. I want to get to the B Luck interview now, man. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I need a I need a break. <laughs> I need All a right, break. Man, we about to get to part two, man. <laughs> luck interview coming up. He clowned you. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know. I I haven't had a good time in a long time, you know. Late night working after three, man. This is why my old girl was mad at me. This why I'm your majesty, man. The click is the tightest, the poop the tightest, the drinks are the coldest, the future the brightest, the feet not divided, the love is divided, and I just got it. Thank God that we got it. Bless. I don't know what I would do it. I'd a crew look like we robbed a bank, but all we make is deposits. Your profit will profit list. I feel like easy with these long song. Mm. Looking for a bad Bruh, bitch that, to poke on. I finally listened to that drop top walk. Fuck with it? Yeah, I fuck with it, but that Met got a little harder shit on there. Oh, you stupid as hell. That was the that's, first shitty song on there. What? What? What song? I knew you ain't no shit about rap anyway. I've been watching that's, the podcast. You be saying what? the you said, dumbest shit. Do I? You think you so? You be saying hella dumbest shit. What was shit. the dumbest thing? Wait no, till no, we get started. Yeah, yeah wait till yeah. we get started. Yeah. Wait till I'm we get started. I'm on your ass. I'm damn near started. All tree out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <sorry. laughs> One for you, yeah. finish, you finish or you die. <laughs> oh, this shit about to be yeah, good. Sure. Hey, this shit about to be coming. We're welcome back to the After Party Podcast. Jeez. Still yeah. After Party E. Yeah, I've been on Talu, man. And I am Hamilton County in oh. general. Hey, B Luck, don't do that. Like, let me introduce you, B Luck. <laughs> <laughs> you might call me something different. <laughs> I'm every, I'm 513 Hamilton County, Cincinnati, Ohio. Fuck it. Everything around here. That's me. <laughs> oh, man. Man, we got B Luck, man. You don't even need an introduction. You introduce man, yourself, man. We got B Luck, man. Welcome to the After Party Podcast, dog. Welcome, yeah. Thank you for having me because there's been some shit going on. Oh, yeah. They Talk tripping. Yeah. My, my guy, B Luck, inbox me. No, nothing, no no introduction, no nothing. No, yo, Set what's my up? shit up. Book my shit. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah book my, book shit. my shit. shit. He called me like, bro, like this nigga B Luck just got to get him up in the inbox. Time. I said, what do you say? Damn, I'm on some fried, straight fried shit. Three letters. Man. <laughs> Three words. Book my shit. I'm like, damn. That's all he talking about? And I don't even do interviews with motherfuckers. I fuck with Nella D because that's like my peoples and shit. But yeah. I ain't really, I don't really be doing that shit. <laughs> so I what, ain't the normal rapper for real. Like. So what was that? What was the bomb that you was like, all right, fuck it. Y'all, book you, my shit. Because listen. You be asking questions, but you don't even let a motherfucker answer the question. You already got your mind made up how you want the question to go and shit. Like, what? Qu- you know what y'all was in here doing. What, <laughs> what questions fact, have you, I asked? First, no, go ahead, be like, yeah, I want to know what question you talking about. Like, what, yeah. what, what Come did you on, say? Man. Y'all know what's going on, man. Be I, like, I don't feel you. Got to refresh my memory, bro. The, y'all, not only am not only am I the number one lyricist in about billions. I'm the number one. Lyricist in about Ohio, like ain't nobody fucking with me on the words. I don't know, be like, that's cool. Like, is Listen, it the, is it the word play? Hold on, fuck is the it word the... play. I'm saying the actual words. If you words? read this okay. shit on a piece of paper, bro, ain't nobody saying this shit that I'm saying. Uh huh. 
Period. Like it ain't like I ain't trying to take nothing from like I'm not even my own favorite rapper. Like I, niggas is my favorite rappers. Like it's niggas that yeah. all time. Like you feel me? Like butter all day. He's the he's the top rapper for real for sure. Yeah. Every day all day he's a rapper. I'm not no rapper. But I feel like you just contradict yourself. How? Right <laughs> <laughs> How? I'm just saying. Like you know what I'm saying. You just said that. You no, know what I'm, I'm not saying that. Nigga, Jordans come out every week. Yep. You might drop Jordans every Saturday. But uh-huh. when them Yeezys come out, nigga, they sold out forever. You not you don't hear what I'm saying? I don't drop as much as niggas. But when I drop out, when I drop, my shit's is 2,000, 2,500. Okay. So they not one ninety nine. Uh, okay. So you the But Yeezus. I love Jordan. So you okay. So then what is butter then? I'm saying that's my favorite rapper. You feel me? Like that, like me and bro grew up together, like on some competition shit. Like every yeah. all this shit that's been going back and forth, like when we had like battles and and rap beef and all that shit. That shit wasn't shit to us because we both from the same hood. We from the same block. Right. If I come outside, I could throw a rock at dude house. You feel me? Like, But the last time we did the rap beef, it just got blew up because this was the first time it was internet. We done had rap beefs like three or four times in our whole lives. Like, uh-huh. That's why I talk to dude every day. So around the board, like a nigga that's a rap, like Butter is a real rapper. Like I ain't taking, I ain't saying it like a disrespect. Like it's niggas that you would be like, man, that's a rapper. Like a rapping ass nigga perping. Like nah, he ain't perping. But he don't. He not about to come to the club. He not about to party with you for free. When he mm. come out, it's because he got a show. When he when he hang, you feel me? He, everything he doing is some rap shit. Every move that he make, y'all might think he doing something. No, it's all because he he furthering his rap career. I don't think about no fucking rap career every day. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because I might need to. Yeah. But I'm saying he is a full time. I don't look at you no. That's who I like that. as a rapper. That's my favorite. That's my rapper. You don't yeah. got to look at me a rapper. Yeah. But when you start talking about these words and shit being said. Put no. some respect on my name, bro. <laughs> don't do that. You no, tripping. I didn't say I don't look at you as a rapper. I said I don't look at you bad for saying that you don't think of yourself as a rapper every yeah, day. Yeah, but I might, need, I might need to because this is the way shit going. I've been in too but much game. Like, 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 no, 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 no. Don't be confused, Ali. <laughs> tell, tell Lou, I'm going to clear it up. I'm going to clear it up. B-Luck says he's the best lyricist in Ohio. I just might be lazier than everybody. But I don't think so. I don't think so, Luck. I don't. And like at first. I'm what gonna, are you, what I, are you I, judging I, this on? I judge it off the way the word the word play is, the metaphors, the shit that like And who got better ones than me? Butter. What he say? Butter. Cause you you are not, like in these podcasts, we definitely if one thing the crowd don't know, they know you like butter. Like you boy, listen. Y'all I feel got, like the, the crowd knows love I'm, the fuck I'm out honest. Of him. I'm, because I'm honest. How's that being honest? Regardless if it's butt up here, if cook up here, if you up here, I'm always saying. You're not even from Cincinnati feel, for real, are you? I'm from Columbus. I knew it was some shit going on. I knew, I knew it was. It. <laughs> y'all that has nothing to start, do with y'all it. Y'all let a nigga start a Cincinnati <laughs> beef that ain't even from no, here, man. I never y'all started a beef. <laughs> what beef did I start? You just started the beef this week. These niggas is on the internet going to each other's head. Y'all edited the podcast so it looked like Cook was talking shit about butter. And Cook ain't that kind of nigga. Like, you can edit my podcast any way you want because ain't nobody going to do shit to me. Like, Cook ain't that kind of nigga. You feel me? Like, he, I'm not saying he a bitch or nothing. Like, that's my nigga. No, I love not him at death. all. But he just like, he, a, you feel me? He a cool, laid back nigga. He want to make, he want to make the bounce music, the, the his wave, and he want to have fun with it and all that shit. Like, he ain't no what everybody be. I'm on some tough shit every day. Like, and I don't even think it's no beef. It's a competition. Same no. thing Cook said in it was, it's a competition. But the I'm, same thing Butter but said, and I'm they saying, already had that but what I'm going, saying, going. Butter didn't talk about his on camera because the way Butter do his shit, like, he not about to, he not about to give a nigga no credit or discredit a nigga unless it's time for that. You feel me? Like, so but, you, so you told what happened after the camera went off. Like, hey, look, I asked this nigga when the camera because went no, off. Because no, I didn't say I asked him. You did. I, I didn't you say did. I asked him. You said I asked him what do what you think about Cook when is the camera went off, and he said, and he said, how you think LeBron feel about Steph Curry? Is that nobody what I said? Would, he wouldn't have said that on camera because he ain't want nobody. To, the, you brought that up, so I brought that up smoke. because I did not know of it. His videographer asked him that. If you watch it, I said I did not know. That's why I never asked Butter about saying, Cook. If I would have knew, is, I would have asked Butter re- regardless saying, if it's thousands, on camera. Thousands of people would have never known if you wouldn't have said it in the next podcast. But people did know though. So the point is, if, if somebody say like, people "Yo, I what? want this, I want this question asked," or like, "Why Butter and Cook don't ever do songs together? Why is it like I tried to get Butter? I said Butter and Cook. Why I, I tried to get Butter, yeah, get Butter Cook to about. do a mixtape together, and it just never happened? Why is that like? So somebody, like I said before, if somebody got questions, I'ma ask it. How people answer it is up to them. Cook gave a political answer, and he said like, you know, it's just a. It's a strategic thing. I did not ask Butter because nah, I did not know no until thing. They like, after. They lightweight had some tension shit going on, but it wasn't, I ain't think it, but was, it wasn't no smoke, but it was just yeah. like the way you built it. But nobody said it, that, though. The way you promoted it, it looked like it smoked. 
Okay, so the way you cut the video up, like if I'm butter, I wake I wake up in the morning, I go check the 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 popular page on Instagram. If I'm butter, I look yeah. at, and the question say, "How you feel about Young Butter being the top artist in the city or some shit?" And then it jumped to, "Man, these lyrical niggas, man, they need to chill the fuck out with that lyrical shit, man. That shit ain't even the wave. Like that shit ain't cool." Them questions was like. 10 minutes apart from so, each other But it looked like He was shitting on Butter So Butter on Gang He from Westwood He gonna be on that immediately So like. I feel you should watch You should watch that. That's the point of a preview <laughs> I'm not gonna I mean, watch yeah, I mean I, that's I, just how That's just how media Like, like run, it cut, No it ain't That's, that's how a lot of media sh- I mean when no. you When you watch the previews For like like uh, a movie, anything. And, uh, the hip hop wise or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You watch hip hop wise, love hip hop. Hey, love hip hop. <laughs> no, you're right. They <laughs> you they, edit they like cut the, that shit up like you that. Right that, that you right that. You right because that's a, that's for entertainment and it's, they need beef and all that shit for for it to be. This is media. This is supposed to be news. This is supposed to be real life info. You can't chop information to make it sound like another way. That's 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 you you misleading the crowd. I don't feel like it's misleading. I don't think it's misleading. Man, I feel like he was on that man's ass after that after that little clip I you put like, out. I feel like <laughs> and then you watch it and you like, oh. Oh, he really ain't say that. Yeah, but so guess what? I mean, it's really not now. Okay. And he ain't about to take back what he said because he really mean it. But it was nothing directed at, so there's nothing to take back. No. That's my point. Is there's nothing it would have never say. been no smoke with them this week if that wouldn't have, that clip wouldn't have went up. It should have never just It would have never been no smoke if people would have never said the, it. Exactly. He didn't say it. He answered a no, different I'm not question about, at a different time, and you edited them I'm together. Saying, talking about when Butter had it was. Said. How would I have known about it? How would I have known Butter if somebody off, never told me? Butter said it off. Or even if he said it, he said it off camera. Nobody ever heard Butter say nothing. I'm talking about on, on social media. We only media. heard he say it. Like exactly. That's it. because I did not know of it. If his videographer would have said what he said before, because it, when they got here, it was like a fast thing. Like, oh, his videographer came in, and then we started recording. And yeah. then he asked, and he was like, yo... I need you to like ask Cook, like, cause I try to do a mixtape, but watch this, like, so that's not on me. He know I'm still here. His video, that's his video for know I'm still here. I mean, I don't want to make my whole podcast about some other niggas, but I just felt like that's why the shit popped off, and you know that's why it popped off, cause. But if, I don't if, even feel like that was even beef, to be honest, because it was a, it wasn't even beef. I feel like the beef was the Scally shit, and nobody even mentioned Scally. The, no, the Scally shit. Scally was mad because nobody mentioned him. That's not no beef. That's he just was. He going through I mean, it was some little shit in the comments that like started to make it a beef, but it was dead it. But I was saying, yeah, I feel like I, that situation I'm was not more even beef speak on that because you feel me more he, than anything else. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I finally I, listened to Pookie. That's like, but, but that's like me being mad. Niggas Started ain't say nothing switch, about me. Switch this shit up. You feel me? And they yeah. interview a nigga. These niggas, butter. And but cook. you felt some way because I said butter was a better lyricist than you. Though, I don't man. care what you think because we don't live the same lives. I'm saying you <laughs> are you, you you asking questions and you already got a answer in your head. Like don't don't sway the opinion of the crowd. Like. You got to tell me what a nigga said that's better than me because I got, for every line you could say of another nigga, I got a line that's 42,000 times that. I don't know his shit word for word. Uh, like you don't that. know it. You don't know one line. You just know that in your head, brother, just a lie. That's, that's how the shit always is. It's not, though. It's but like start, certain things like that have to be proven. I don't just come out and say, what oh. What got to be proven? I have to hear songs. I have to hear songs from, but I have to hear your hey, shit. Hey, we to knew make, this shit was going to happen make, at the beginning. No, but, Before this no, shit started, we knew this shit was going to happen. But, like, because he, I don't he, make judgments on We've been doing nothing. hella light-skinned shit on the podcast, <laughs> bro. And, yeah, everybody just sitting around like it's cool, <laughs> man. Hey. What, what, listen, man. Oh, shit. I feel... You feel that <laughs> I just have this, this notion of butter, like, oh, butter's good. Everybody feels that. Why? I mean, I'm not taking away from it. If that's your favorite rapper, that's cool. I, I will fuck with that. Like, that's cool. Like, that's my favorite rapper. You feel me? Like, I ain't about to... I'm not about to sit here and act like... Like, oh, you feel me? Like, it's niggas that I listen to more. Or, you feel me? But that nigga's from my hood. If I'm not rapping, that's who I want to listen to. You feel me? Like, so I'm not tell, telling you not to say that nigga ain't, ain't live or nothing. But when we start talking about lyrics, bro, you tripping. But... If, I wanna, okay, but, tripping. but my thing is, like... You can say I'm tripping. You can say maybe, all right, he's better not. But the thing is... It's an argument. It's a debate. No, so for, no, that means for sure. it, it's so. If you ask the person on the couch, let the person on the couch answer the question. You said you keep saying you keep jumping in every time the person on the couch answer. When did I jump in? Even when Vern said me, you was like, no, nah, oh, no, like man, get your light skinned ass out of here with that. Because man, that's you don't my even opinion. Know what's going on? I mean, that's my opinion. If I think what are you basing better- it on? Have, have you heard any songs with us together? Have you ever heard? I've never heard songs with y'all together. I've yeah, heard I've heard saying. some of your stuff and I've heard some of his stuff. But, but what I'm saying is, you could say, okay, but it's have not, or heard? your opinion shot. But my, what I'm saying is, it's an argument. It's a debate. It's people on both All sides. Have, so we, why this, is this shit why, going on? This why when I say butter, it's oh, e you tripping? You and light skin when it's other people this that's shit, on this side with me. What, that's who, my who question. Are the people, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just 
saying who's on the couch. I, you talking about people in the comments and shit? Of course. I mean, no. you feel me? I, I don't I don't rap as, as much as them, but I'm on some other shit. Like I got different shit going on. Like when you see me, I don't I don't move like the rest of the rappers and shit. Y'all like I move more like the rappers. It's already in the game. If you see me getting like niggas call me, get, I'm getting shot. You might see me with Dirk. You might see me with Offset. Every time you see me out, I got a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on and shit. Like Come, nigga, like real Aviani, like I'm talking about, like it ain't no games going I on. No, right? I, I, I see you with a lot of industry I'm not, people. I'm not nah, trying like, to add that to my rap. Yeah, shit. I like, get what you're you saying. Don't get no rap credit off that. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm not no rapper. Like I, that, I get like. what you're saying and shit. Though, but, but when we get the rapping, mm-hmm. it be cra- have you ever like we've been having this argument since we was ten years old, like yeah. 10, 12 years old. Mm-hmm. So that's why we made a song called "The Great Debate." The yeah. Great Debate was about that everybody been saying in all the barbershops, all the hoods, who was the liveest ever since then, like me, Kid, or Butter. But it's been me and Kid, I mean, me and Butter longer because we from the same hood. So we did a song called Great Debate when we yeah. finally all got together and we all rapped on there. Yeah. And it was like, what, did you hear that? I haven't. Oh, yeah, don't I mean, don't make no more opinions till you hear that. I will listen to it, and if my opinion Play changed, that shit now or something. I got you. <laughs> Let's get it going. Let's now, get it going. I want to state my opinion. Say your opinion. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'll be like, right he, he don't want to talk to you, cuz. Nah, <laughs> I'm fucking that's, with you. That's I'm how I be feeling. You. Like I'm like, damn. Like when I'm gonna get in? Nah, cause he be doing the most host shit. So when niggas get <laughs> like, when, niggas, <laughs> when niggas get here, they already be having on their mind about him. Like you be on some hey, fair shit. So why. yeah, my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Nah, like I mean, I fuck with you though, luck. Nah, I, fuck with, I wouldn't even came here if I ain't fuck with y'all for sure. Nah, I'm, I'm talking shit. Dog. I'm looking for this song. Go ahead, Luke. My bad, dog. I mean, as far as my opinion goes on, on the music between you and Butter, I mean, it's it be some shit. I catch you, you I catch you saying some shit, and that shit would be hard. But I just can't get jiggy with the wave, like on how you, you know, what I'm saying, just the how you flow. Oh uh, yeah, so you saying my delivery ain't yeah. what, you, what you like? Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. That's my only problem. Yeah, with see, you, I don't, like. I don't really play all the time. You feel me? Like, so yeah. I ain't, I ain't doing all the love. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not doing none of that. Like, mm-hmm. we from Cincinnati. All these niggas changing their voices. And, oh, I'm not with that shit, nigga. I'm from Harrison. Like, I'm this. We not about to do no. I'm not. I don't play all the time. So but when I'm rapping, I'm trying to. Uh, I'll be rapping for a crowd of niggas that live like me. You feel me? So if I get extra fans in the process, that's cool. But at the end of the day, I'm rapping. It's for in the, uh, the but I feel like I feel like at the end of the day, shit. If you gonna rap, shit. I, I did that already. You feel me? I did all that rapping for other people. It worked. I, Mr. Miyagi ain't nobody song ever. Mr. Miyagi, yeah, I said me? that I too. Could, I could come out and do gay shit again. Like I can come out. Oh, that, and, that's, you, <laughs> you feel me? I can come out. I can come out easily and make a song that everybody want to hear. And I could be back in the. I got more relationships than any rapper. Like I got everybody. All the clubs know me. We yeah. spend money. I can come out, make a club song, do all that same silly shit niggas doing, changing their voices, wearing colored. Hair and all that man, I don't play, don't do nigga. I don't play. Don't, I don't play never. I bro. feel like well, so why don't you want to release thing? music? I feel like I'm nah. about to, no, 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 no. I'm about to drop music. That's why I respect butter shit because butter ain't changed out outside of him. You feel me? Like he still, he still do his thing. But I be, I be too tied up and and gang shit all the time, bro. Like it's like that's that, with me. It be like I can't rap until I got money and shit. Like I don't be moving like them niggas. Like I don't be when. Like, niggas got mad at me because I said it last time, but, like, you don't see me with mass rappers and shit. Like, when I pull up, it ain't no beats playing and niggas dancing. Like, I be with all niggas that's on bullshit. Like, I be with niggas that's, you feel me? Like, when, when niggas, when we come outside, we can't even, I can't hang with the niggas I want to hang with because they all got pictures on boards and shit. Like, they staple downtown on boards and shit. Like, my niggas is, this shit different with me, man. It's about to be my favorite interview, Luck. I, I, I hope like so. I Play that, though. Yeah, he going I got hell. you. I heard this. You did? Yeah. This this what this when you said to lean off the hoverboard. Man, listen, I said everything you could say. <laughs> yeah. It said you off the lean you off the lean like a, some shit like that. This KI. Is this that uh, song with Butter say he was 360 days ahead of it? Nah, he was talking the, about the riot. That's the riot. Oh, okay. We're going to get to the riot, too. We're going to yeah, get to all types of shit. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, hey, look, you might as well I'm, chill, I'm the most interesting. We're going to get to everything. I don't got one thing going on. I got everything going on. You might as well chill, Luck. We here. Both me. 
No remorse, just intercourse. I'm trapping hard, trying to get a Porsche. He's supposed to be getting cake. He getting fronted. Niggas, I'm getting blunted. Here come Butter, though. He clown, for sure. Now, you listen with your lyricism ear. I got you. Stupid. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> bro. This shit. Can I say what I gotta say now? Yeah. Yeah. Every, am I back on? No, sound good. You got him on that song. You definitely did. I'll give you that. I, I'm, I'm gonna give you that. See, luck. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to. I, I, at the same time, we doing this. I, don't, I ain't trying to make a direct de- comparison. To, but I'm saying everybody. Like every time I rap, everybody. Like every time. Like <laughs> nah, I would. I will. I will agree with you on that. That one. You. Everybody. You. You. You killed everybody on that song. But. That's what I'm trying to every time. Like every cause I take so much like I take so much that's why I don't drop as much as people because I take so much pride in every line. Like every line be meaning something. He said, I get you on and off a nigga. He said, I will get I will I can put you on or off a nigga. I'm AI around nine five. I'm shooting as soon as I cross the nigga. He wasn't even in the league yet. The next line say, cause this is Georgetown and I run shit. That's my name. This is Georgetown and I run shit. Y'all run dope and I run. He said, we run dope and y'all run lips. You better run my chips by sunset before I make a run with your sunset. Like, every single line means something to everything I say. Even if it's a club song, I'm saying complete and utter bullshit every time. Like I fucked with that, look. I, I'm telling, like. I, I fucked with that. Like, I, I ain't trying that. to go out. I mean, I might not go out as the richest rapper, but I'm going to go out like Kiss. Like, every single one of my lines is going to be cold every time. Like, <laughs> every time. I never said no bullshit. You can pick any song, a freestyle, anything. Is that but, who you patting your game behind? No, because he's broke. I said, I don't. I might. <laughs> I might not make the most. I might not make the most I'm just, money. I'm just saying that as far yeah, as. Yeah, I said, the, I might the not. The rapping. Make, the bars. Nah, I can't go. I don't want to go out as the underground 
I'm I think I'm hotter than everybody, but I'm still in my room broke. Like I'm I'm behind but, but, cash. Like but, but Kiss ain't broke though. I'm just saying nah, as far he ain't broke, as but he I'm broke saying as far as like the nigga lyrics. Like Hove or something, like. Yeah, but like I'm far as as far as like the lyrics. As far as the lyrics, people look at Kiss like we know he got bars, mm-hmm. but he don't make the best songs. He don't have the best marketing. He nah, don't. He make he make he and make the some, songs, yeah, he make but he don't make the he best. He make songs. them. He make them for his people. Like he make them for East Coast. Like, for for he, his you audience. Know, you know, a lot of people just leave. Yeah, you know, it's niggas in the East Coast. It's not acting like they not in the East Coast just to make some money. Like a uh, nigga like Smurda make a song you could dance to, or a nigga like fucking. Uh, what's the rrr, nigga still in all the future shit? Oh, designer. Yeah, he he going completely out of. You wouldn't even Shitty. know he from New York at all. Like Horrible. Kiss is real that real New York, so he's sticking to his roots to try to. He rather have quality over quantity, I guess. So, so ain't that's what you want though? No, I'm I'm just saying that's I don't, what you said earlier. No, but he still rap every day. I'm saying. I'm not saying I don't rap on purpose. I ain't saying I just I save my raps and they be the best rap. I'm right. saying I don't rap. Like if I if I if I I want to rap more. Mm-hmm. I just got too much real shit going on like every day. Like I'm doing shit. I'm running. I got companies and shit. We got I got property. I got I got shit going on like the ride and shit. We got fights coming up. We got I, it's a million things that I'm doing every day trying to we trying to we do multi million dollar business. I can't rap every day. Yeah, yeah before I we wanna, get to the rides, but I say I, I want to talk about the rides. But go ahead. Yeah, we about to say. Okay, about before about you talk about the ride, what other business did you got going? Because I always hear that though. I always hear Luck got a lot of shit, but we don't see it all. Well, Who like, knows? That's because you from Columbus. Everybody no, we here don't see it. All. it. Everybody see, see it. everything that you got going. Yeah, because I don't. I don't take credit for everything, but I direct niggas' videos and shit. Like, but I that's put what, out niggas' projects and everything. Like, so if if, if you don't take credit for it. How would we know that you did it? I'm saying it's you, not you just say, me you that don't. Everybody don't see it, but I, like people in the like that's in music, they know what's going on. I mean, but everybody that watch this aren't in music. So oh, I'm yeah, saying, that's fill what I'm saying. I don't do everything I do. I don't do for credit. I do it for money. You feel me? Like so, I I, I write treatments and shit. I do. We got movies coming up. We I got scripts. Everything we got. I, we do boxing. Pro- yeah, we got a clothing line coming yeah. up. Yeah. We got uh like and these ain't even just ideas that you know how everybody get on here and say ideas and shit that never come out. Like our shit is real. Like everything I do be successful. Like it really is coming out. Like everything you will see it soon. Like we got I got the riot four dropping July fourth. I'm starting a new mix to, I'm starting a new mixtape series where I get the top songs of that month or that quarter or something, and I'm gonna put this put them all on one mixtape and release them with a DJ DJ in it and put it on all the dis- digital distribution outlets because a lot of people don't know how to get their music out. Yeah. Like, so if I take one song, if I take the, if everybody email me songs in and I took 15 songs and put them together, that way I can get them on iTunes, I can get them in because I make a lot of money off jails. Like, like I've been getting like twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars a month off just JPay. And a lot of people don't know how to get their music on the JPay and so that's gonna be they outlet to get they shit out there more. So I'm I'm starting a mixtape series. Then on top of that, we got we got fights coming up. We got fight June thirtieth. Uh, Robert Easter up in Toledo. We promoting that. Adrian fight again. Barclays biggest fight of his life. He fighting. Uh, he fighting. Mikey Garcia mm-hmm. my, uh, on July 29th. Like. So we just got a lot of shit going on all the time, like, and it be like we, we don't our shit don't be just for Cincinnati, like our shit be like affected through the whole country. Like my, I, I'm working on my tape at the same time, and Dirt trying to get me to drop over at OTF. So I'm still figuring out what I want to do because I don't know if we like what's going on with our situation or not. Like, so it's a lot of shit going on with us. See, like we didn't know that. Be like, and it's not because I'm saying. from Columbus, yeah, though, but it's not because I'm from Columbus. I pay attention. We ain't know that. Yeah, I ain't know all that. He That's from a here. Whole lot. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> All I know about is the Cincinnati Rise about to come back. And nah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I appreciated the Cincinnati Rise. Like, what, what made it, like, have, like, that, that long break in between them? Like, was it just because you was nah, busy? You can't, no, was it, it wasn't being busy. It's like shit like that you can't do all the time where you're going you gonna to burn yeah. it out. And I fucked it up anyway. I still fucked it up even in the times, like, that I did it. But now I found a new way to reinvent it. It's going to be different. It's going to hit more people. It's going to be a lot bigger than it ever been. And it's not gonna be watered down because, like, I, I told my other people in other interviews, like around those times, like I put too many people on it because it started being about a money thing for me. But now I don't need no money at all. So now we gonna take it back to the best motherfuckers getting seen and the best fucking situation about it. Like it's gonna be the best production, the best quality. Direct, I'm directing it. I got Cam Bang out. He's shooting it. He, you feel me? He doing some of the best work in the city. Like, and plus, I just got all we got all type of shit going on. Like. Butter, butter, working on three, four videos right now. I'm helping do the treatments and stuff for that shit. Yeah. And, and Bob, Bob got a situation going on. I got Bob and Day Day a little situation with Mike Will made it down in Atlanta, so we about to be going down there to uh, record a demo with them. It's just, it's a lot of shit, and I be quarterbacking a lot of shit, so I don't rap as much as niggas. 
But when I rap, can't nobody say what I'm saying. How many how many people are you gonna put on a riot? Sixteen. Sixteen people. And is it like everybody's rapping on the exact same beat or yeah, is, yeah, is yeah, it gonna yeah, be a, like an acapella a, thing? Nah, nah, it's it's gonna be a beat. It's a beat made. It ain't the beat that I released for the for the trials though, because I'm not stupid. Like if I put out a beat for a thousand rappers and only sixteen can make it, nine hundred and fucking They're still gonna use it. Eighty four gonna bomb on me on the beat. Like Yeah. So I wanna know at, um so like you doing it different this year, like you know what I'm saying? You just letting people submit your music. So. Yeah, because because I thought of it like everybody always said that it's favoritism and yeah. I only let the rappers that I know get on there, so I opened it up to everybody in case it was a amazing nigga out there that I just never heard of and it's not. It's not like ain't it's nobody not, surprised it, you, that, not, that, you listen, that you just like nah, nobody's I we know all the rappers that's hot for a reason, bro. I opened it up for thirty days, bro. I got eleven hundred and seven verses. Like, 10 of them was cool. Nobody was like, damn, where the hell he been at? Like, you know why all the rappers popping? Because they already hot. Like, that shit wasn't about nothing. But, so I you- did, but I did open it up for everybody. There's going to be new people on there. I, I am selecting verses from off from the verses that were submitted, but... It ain't, it ain't, it wasn't like, it, like was, a, a, it was a nigga we never heard of. Nobody that was just amazing, you. yeah. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm like, wait, Saudi, I ain't hear about it. How did you not hear about it? I just seen, I just heard yeah. about it today. Oh, oh my yeah. Yes. This is like we, the second thing I done missed. Lou, Lou, you making this look bad. Don't do that. I'm Don't sorry, do that. man. Don't do that. Yeah, y'all ain't, y'all <laughs> for it. You been seeing it? <laughs> Of course I've been saying Everybody been saying Why you ain't saying nothing to me What type of nigga He don't believe in you for real He on some light skin shit bro. I told you he hang with you every day He don't really think he's gonna make it Don't let D-Luck divide and conquer like that I watch your videos bro You feel me Once you said Once you said Tyloo the rapper I went and clicked on shit I watch it See niggas be thinking I be hating on them I really listen to everything Like like Adrian Like every fight that come on Little dude watch everything It don't matter if you in the Golden Gloves Or on a corner Any boxing fight He watch everybody I watch all rap shit bro you need to get catch. You need to catch up because that shit old oh, now. I got yeah, yeah. I watched the one where you was in the warehouse and all that shit. That location yeah, yeah, was that, cold. Yeah, that shit. All that shit. Yeah, all that shit old. I got a whole new wave. On, I'm rocking right now. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. That's, so who chooses the verses for the riot? Is it just me, you? I'm or? the number one A and R in the city. I'm goo up. Everybody that got popping came through me. And you listen to all 1100. I ain't gonna like, say everybody. I'm gonna take that back because niggas gonna be mad as hell. Those niggas that did their own thing. Got, <laughs> but most of the motherfuckers <laughs> that got popping, bro. They came through me, man. I'm Guwap, for sure. Like, yeah. somewhere or other, they came through my channel to get buzzing or something. You feel Is me? that the role you want for the city? Like, do you do you want See, that See, I'm role, the only like... nigga that don't care who make it. You feel me? Like, yeah. a lot of them niggas want to be the first nigga to make it, or they they want to be the only nigga to make it. I don't care right. who make it. Like, I would rather, you feel me, a nigga that's going to work more than me make it. But, because... I mean, I will, I would work if that was, if that was the way for me to pay bills. But I got five, ten thousand dollars worth of bills every couple months. You feel me? Like, and all that rapping shit, that should be cool. Like, it's pay, it get, we get money off that shit. But it ain't at the point where I don't got to do nothing else. I still got to, I got a thug. Like, I don't know about everybody else. Like, and then I, I got badass habits. I drink four, five hundred dollars worth of lean every day. I'm fresh every time you see me. You ain't gonna catch me one. Like, I didn't wear this for the podcast. I was dressed already. Like. <laughs> like so, I got a, I got shit that going Rashid on. Rashid. Yeah, that's my brother. He don't take no days off. Don't fuck with that Rashid. shit. Yeah, we don't take no. Listen, bro, it ain't, it ain't been, it ain't been no group, it ain't been no rap group like ours since, since the fucking G four boys, bro. In Cincinnati, ain't no, you ain't never seen no four, five, six, seven niggas. Every time you see them, they fly as shit. Like, man, no, ain't you ain't seen that shit. That's why I feel like I'm about to say that, that's why I feel like a lot of people was upset that. About billions had the, the 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 deal that they had to, and it was kind of confusing, and everybody going separate ways, and some people saying no, we still a, about billions, some people saying that we not. I feel like just they because real that was the city. I feel like y'all real stagnant right now. Like how we stagnant? Who doing more than us? I mean, I mean, I feel like y'all could be doing more. No, y'all we got a definitely whole bunch all, of people. No, we always gonna be doing more. To, we always gonna be doing more, but to call somebody stagnant, you got to show who's moving at a better pace from where they from. How we how we stagnant? I mean, if we stagnant, like, then niggas is dead. Like if we are moving, if we not I moving, feel like y'all should be niggas is more deceased. movements, more noise. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you're right. Be, you got to. Well, that's the same. what I'm talking about. Like y'all, no. the way y'all moving though, it look good. It look good on camera, but as far as what we hearing, and we ain't getting it. Like I ain't hearing no new music. Like from how often do you want to hear music? I mean, I just want to. I mean, y'all got more than y'all got more than one rapper. Like I heard Prince. I heard Prince Bob. Like I heard uh. They won on Skyler shit. Like I ain't heard nothing else from him. Like who else y'all got? 
Kid drop some shit. I fuck Kid with. Kid drop all the Park. time. Vern yeah. drop. I ain't heard. Well, I ain't heard Vern shit. Yeah, Vern just Vern, Vern just dropped. dropped. Yeah, yeah dropped. I, I, dropped fact, I think I did just see a little glimpse of his video. Yeah, anybody. I mean, I see what you're saying, but or you gotta think at the same time. I'm gonna keep it real. Like our shit ain't wasn't like a mapped out company, so it was like we was still doing shit on some gangster shit. Like yeah, even when we was doing shit when we felt like doing it, bro, box and he still trying to do the music. Right. Shit. It wasn't never mm-hmm. like niggas had real jobs and shit. If it was if it was mapped out like that, I'd have just ran out of music and everybody would have came out every quarter. You feel me? Like yeah. I wouldn't even have rapped. I ain't got to rap. Mm-hmm. Like I would have just made sure everything went right, but I mean, you st- we still young niggas. We ain't got nobody older than us telling us what to do. It ain't no 50, 60 year old running the company telling us when to drop. Right. You feel me? So we we still growing. We still gotta see how shit goes. But I'm a, I'm gonna get this shit right though for sure. Cause I don't care who make it. I just yeah. don't I don't know how 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 motherfuckers moving. I mean, I can I can only speak for myself. Like I just left for my own little studio. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm the I'm thirsty. Like. Me and myself, I'm my own rapper, so like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm dropping shit at a, at a at a pace that I feel like I should be moving forward, like moving yeah, way faster. Yeah, because you still, you still, you still trying to get known and shit, like. Yeah, yeah, but I'm about to, I'm about to drop. I'm, I done made so many songs lately, bro. I'm about to drop some crazy shit. Like it's about to be a whole load of shit that's about to come out. But now, so I'm just talking about me though. But like, I just feel like y'all just got so many rappers. I feel like it should be like boom, boom. Like everybody should just be about billions. Like that's what we should hear out here in the city, cause y'all group. It ain't just like Cook. Like you hear Cook name the most, and I fuck with Cook, but he dropped so much shit. And it is like I'm kind of, I kind of get annoyed with it. We talked about it in the last podcast, yeah, cause he do so much. But it's just, he just by himself, and he dropped more music than what about billions did. But you gotta think, like I told you, like that's my little name. You gotta think. I ain't get mad when niggas ain't mention me in the interviews, but this, these is my everyday niggas. Like, cause yeah. call me before you make any decision of any kind. Like, these yeah. are my real little niggas. Like, but at the same time, Cook raps ain't as difficult as a butter rap. Mm-hmm. His raps ain't as difficult as a luck rap. I mean, he don't, he got the capability to do that. Dude is a real life genius for real. He rapping like that on purpose. Like, this motherfucker is a straight A student for real. Like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. Cook smart as hell. He used to be on that. Like, we got old songs up and shit. Freestyles with Cook keeping up. Like, he bombing like he rapping like us. But that wasn't a wave. So he switched his shit to what is better response better response for him. So he go in the studio on freestyle. He got he got book sessions every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you feel me? Like four hours a day. He don't write no songs. Cook go in there, say what he wanna say, punch in, and he finishing songs. Like mm-hmm. now nah, it might take me a whole week to write a song. Yeah, see that's what I had to stop doing. I, I don't start freestyling now. Yeah, see I'm not so doing that. I'm not i I'm not I don't I'm not freestyling because nobody cares. Like like my shit, like I want all my shit to like stick around Stand the test of time Like everybody might think Right now We getting swamped By the wave of the The, the yachties The all that shit That shit gonna be gone Like mm-hmm. And the niggas Who really saying something Or really It's gonna The music that catch And the words that catch Like a time period Of how you felt at that time Or they saying shit That you really went through That shit gonna be still Going on when you 50 You are gonna be listening To what Drake was talking about right. When you 50 You gonna be listening To what Kendrick talking about mm-hmm. When you when you 50 You gonna be like I listen to Yachty I'm gay as hell like he gonna he gonna be like bell bottoms and shit to y'all like yeah, yeah I, don't I don't play fuck with Yachty, nah, like I, I get what Tyloo saying and I also get what you saying but I feel a lot of people look at it as like about billions is y'all the one that's gonna carry the city like when anybody think of Cincinnati first thing that come to mind is AB second is about billions because yeah he's the only that's person a, that ever made it from here yeah so that's it so I guess we look at it as like. We want it like we want y'all to drop more. I yeah. want you feel me. We want y'all, y'all to get because like, like can't nobody else. I mean like y'all to ceiling for real. Like can't nobody else. Like uh, somebody like Cook can get through the city on his own. But as far as other artists that's under them that may be good, but it's like yeah. we need a uh, we need about billions to to break through. And then it's like well nah like it's a lot of good rappers in Cincinnati because nah, right now man, people don't think that like people think Cincinnati they're like nah it's one in a million in Cincinnati nah it ain't one in a million but there ain't and, a and lot it's, of and good it's really niggas. not it's but not. outside the city that's what people think and I've had these arguments with people but, when we was talking to uh, to the dude um, Hunter Watts that made the top fifty uh, Ohio artists and I was like nah Cincinnati super, has the best fuck him fuck. Dude, <laughs> Cincinnati Father has the him. best. Fuck what he talking about. <laughs> that list was so fucking fraudulent. Fuck everything he stand for. What you say as an institution? Fuck, <laughs> fuck his, fuck his haircut. Fuck his car. <laughs> fuck everything that got it's something to do with him. Who the fuck is you, dude? Why'd you hate the list so man, much? Come I on, hated man, come on, man. The list. And I you, could, that. you could tell. You could tell the list was formatted mostly to where he from. Like, well, come on, man. We don't. Them niggas ain't making no noise. We don't know them niggas like that, man. Come on, man. Fuck, man. Fuck, dude. Why would you even step? That's like me 
feeling like I got enough validation to, to name the top 50. I got more credentials than he would. You feel me? Like yeah. That's like me making the top 50, but I don't really know what's going on in Toledo like that. I don't really know what's going on in Columbus besides my niggas. And, you feel me? Like I don't really know what's going on every day in Cleveland. Like I, ain't, I can't do that. He can't do that. He didn't He didn't reach out to the top DJs or the top street niggas in every city before he made it. He sat on the couch and made it. Fuck you. Fuck dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was done when Ike Obama was so high. See, Ike Obama. And, and I'm a, Slim Jesus I, I Obama. was on the list. That's Man, what I knew. Slim Jesus. I fuck with Ike Obama as a person. Like, that's my nigga. You know, Robert Easter, he with us. You feel me? So, yeah. that's his boy. And, bro, you got to respect Ike Obama. Like, I respect him on the street nigga side for sure. And that's what I said. I said he seems like an artist that got a lot of money behind him. He he it ain't dope. behind him. He got a lot of money his damn self. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's behind like, him. Like, his music. This nigga is rapping in a fucking phantom yeah, with gold sure. rims with gold and ain't sold a disc. <laughs> no, I seen the nigga. I knew it was real when I seen the nigga cleaning tires and he was standing straight up. The nigga was cleaning tires like this. Bro, listen, I said, bro. "What the fuck?" No, listen. He said, yeah, "My tires bigger than your nigga." He I'm got like, Whoa. bitches. He got bitches in the video, ass naked, dressed in gold paint. <laughs> like I'm that <laughs> nigga. I, I'm that, that no. nigga. We was first nigga in the city in Cincinnati having good looking holes in our video. Niggas ain't had holes. When we was, you feel me? Like it wasn't cool. Like we was the ones really. The first nigga, no, bro, this nigga is clowning. Like, he got some other shit going on. You got to respect him just off G. And plus, I watch them niggas because they entertain it. I don't like the, I don't really, you feel me? Like, I, I can't really get into the music like that, but they, they entertain it to me. Like, I would agree. They're entertaining, but and like, you know, he ain't lying. Just like, music. do it again. You heard yeah. him do it again? <laughs> yeah. That nigga said, he said the judge gave him a 10. He like, turned around to the homies and gave him a green. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> like, I'm really on that. That shit give me goosebumps. He said the judge gave him a 10. He turned around in the courtroom to the homies and gave him a green. He said, yeah, nigga, put something yeah, up, put that. something up for me because I'm going to come home and do it again. <laughs> that, I'm hey, on that every day. That's what I, I we can't, on. I can't get, I ain't going to lie, I can't get jiggy with his music, but the stories he be saying do be on point yeah, I listen, bro. I they sound real they sound yeah. real I'll give you no, that listen they real because listen yeah, you can tell when a nigga rapping and, and they be fucking up facts and shit that's why I be trying to tell niggas like bro just be yourself you don't have to rap about dope you don't have to rap about guns if that's not what you want bro if you fuck hoes off you you just dress every day you skateboard whatever you do rap your life because if you try to rap somebody else's life it's gonna be a hole in your story Niggas gonna see that. Niggas yeah. gonna see it. Niggas gonna see through it. You could tell who just stay topical with shit. Like, yeah, I hit the plug up, talk, call my my guala. He give me the bricks. Like, he don't got no details of what's going on or nothing. Like, man, go on with that dumb ass shit. Bro, <laughs> niggas out here really risking their life every day, going to jail forever. Bro, I got niggas that's in the feds every day. Like, come on, man. Ain't niggas ain't playing, man. Like, this shit serious when it's really on. Like, Man, that, all these raps, they don't, I don't be playing. He said, I just got out the county. Four traffic is in the ratchet. I took MJ them racks, and she made that shit never happen. Like, you can clerk or court me. Like, I'm six, seven felon. Like, come on, bro. Everything that's on the internet, everything that's on your raps, bro, got to be consistent. Because like kids say, everybody, the way you sell is a gimmick. Everybody got a gimmick. Niggas hear the word gimmick and think it's bad, but gimmick is just how they know you. Like, niggas know every time yeah, they see me, they like got a, a cup. Niche. But if they find out. <laughs> my cup got Kool Aid in it. And I've been lying this whole time. My gimmick is fucked up. No, I'm everything about every one of my gimmicks is real because it's my life. I'm not doing it for no rap shit. I'm doing. I'm getting in trouble about this shit. I keep going to jail for lame. <laughs> this shit ain't weed. They ain't writing me tickets every time I get stopped with my cup. I'm going to jail like every time. Like that's a bad habit. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, I ain't know. It was, yeah, I ain't like, know it was that serious until yeah, they can, yeah. like ain't no. You can Kids get caught with a joint. They gonna write you. A, they gonna write you a ticket. Yeah. They stop. They stop me with anything in this cup. Jail. <laughs> every, t- every time. Every time. Do not. That's the wrong <laughs> habit. Show. Sure. That's the wrong habit. I don't, I don't get it. Look, like I, you, you a cool digger, man. You a cool digger. I'm not but, though. That's no, what, but you. No, I feel like you. <laughs> talking to you, you are. Oh yeah, I'm but like, yeah. I was about to say a lot of people don't like you. Like, because why I talk is so, that? Because like, I, cause I'm, I talk so crazy, and I'm the only nigga that tell the honest to god truth. So when niggas send me music and shit, all the other rappers be trying to be political with it. Like, nah, bro. This, I mean, it's cool. It's decent. I listen to it, bro. I didn't listen to that shit when I turned it on. You did somebody else ad libs. You shitty. Your your studio shitty. All that shit. Your cover. I can't even. I'm, I'm, niggas need that. I'm, niggas need but that. But guess what? You be the bad guy for doing that for so many years. But the thing about me is my gimmick is not fake. Like I'm always, I'm always by myself. I'm always got mass bullets. 
So niggas, every niggas, niggas need the truth, man. Niggas need the truth. Niggas need to know, like, because I feel like if nah, like for, for sure, like you know how many know. people, how many people that been saying for ten straight years they don't like me. I ain't never heard no story about. Hey, be luck got like, be luck got whooped at the mall. Be luck, they somebody took their chains out. Man, nigga, do something to me, man. Boy, they body gonna beat their ass to the house. The news gonna beat them to the house. That they what happened to them. Like this shit ain't no raps. Like it's it's other rappers like that. I ain't gonna lie, but me. <laughs> Man, I talked crazy to everybody, bro. Like niggas was niggas gave was making diss songs about me, and like that's why I be telling Cook like when you when you get into like beef and all that shit, like you you see how he was like being like the bigger person today. Like when everybody was doing all that rap beef, he was really not trying to go back and forth with it. Nigga, worst thing I ever did was let some shit ride for a minute because I thought I was too good to beef. Like I thought like man, everybody gonna know the truth. No, the internet is not full of real niggas. <laughs> the it's internet not. is full of all bitch ass people for real. So if you don't respond accordingly, it's gonna look bad for you. I'm never going out like that again because I'm thinking I'm, when the, when we start rap beefing, I'm thinking like man, everybody know what's up with me. Like I ain't about to do that shit. Niggas know what's going on. The street is not the people that's that matter. It's the people on the outside looking in. So I'm taking everything to the max. Don't play with me. <laughs> But sometimes it's not always like that, though. They they say like, here's how you no. I'm, listen, listen, hear me out. Here's how you deal with beefs. They say if if you're number one, you never respond to number two. That's a lie. Because you just going you just going validate them, and now they they living off of you. Guess what? Now they now they ill. Drake but is higher you, than number one. He's zero. He's like un, like he's negative three. <laughs> like he's he's higher than number one. He maxed the nigga out. Like I'm talking about he. Won Grammys and Billboard awards that for maxing the nigga out. That was easy work. That was no, it wasn't that was, easy work. But Meek was the, never two. This is, I say if you're number one, you don't respond to two. So Meek that's even not, worse to respond to nine. No, it's not because I know I can kill nine. I know I'm gonna do nothing he, but buzz. How? I know it's nothing but buzz because no nine, nine cannot kill me. Nine I'm need one. more. Nine need more help than two. J Cole don't need J Cole don't need fucking Drake. But Kendrick don't need Drake. But but I'm nine saying, need more, more. Nine help. needs more help. But is it help if I kill you? Two, if if you're already number two and I'm number one, it can go either way. I I can say I killed you. Niggas gonna still say, well, now nah, I don't think like Jay Z and Nas. But everybody never, don't say he was Nas never killed Jay Z. He was never two. That's but he was, he was he was he was he's more like a boutique. He's like a boutique. Like like Jay Z was like Foot Locker, but. Fucking Nas was like he he like he got a core cult following. He was never number two. Like you can't you at was, that point in time in New he York. He was never number two. You talking about in New York? Yeah, in New York you can't. That's you what can't, I'm saying. But you I, can't limit it. These is worldwide rappers. You can't limit they shit to a neighborhood or a city. I'm limit. I'm limited to a number one and a number two. N- nowhere in the country is Meek Mill number two to Drake. So in it was Philly. It, it, it he might was, be. What you mean? Shit. Shit. See, man, listen, man. Shit. I, you gotta, is, you gotta go on a ride along with me, bro, because your life ain't where ours is. Like, you this just is think, music. You got, this you got to get. You got to just hang with us for a day. Look, this is music. What I'm saying is, you, if you're number one, you don't have to respond to them. You're not supposed to because it's pointless. You're just gonna give them more credit. But if you're number nine, I could kill you. I could just say a bar and, it, and you're and you're done. The same way Jay Z responded to Joe Button. I can just say one bar and you're done. But certain shit Jay Z never responds to. Because he know like Jay Jay not gonna respond Jay-Z to me. That's to, like shooting in the stars. Jay-Z like respond to everything, bro. Never. Jay, y'all think he petty? Y'all think he not that petty? He don't respond to he everything. He responded to everything. He responded to Fifty Cent when Fifty Cent was just a neighborhood rapper. Fifty was on a Fifty was on a run. This was he before, was he no, was building. No, 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 no. That was, was, it, was on that, bullshit. Nah, nah. Was it that, after that, How to Rob? Huh? After yeah, the How to Rob? That's what he responded. That was still neighborhood. That, how to Rob didn't come didn't get out until after the shooting. It didn't get out nationwide till after the shooting. But I'm saying though, he was on a run. He was he, he in was, a neighborhood. He was yeah. like number nine hundred and eighty five. He wasn't even nine. Jay Z was number one and responded to nine eighty five. When was this? This was like two thousand two one or something. That's what I'm okay. And Jay Z, it was after the blueprint and everything. He didn't have no reason to say nothing to Fifty Cent. You're but, contradicting yourself, G. I'm not contradicting myself. He responded to fucking Jim Jones. Jim Jones don't even get a number. What number is he on the list? He don't have a number. He, he, he don't, don't have a number. He might but be F. Just like, His number is F. Like, he, they ran out of numbers and he going to letters, man. What happened when he did respond? Nothing. He It, it was over. It's a, it's a kill. Like, boom. That's how what did, I'm saying. You never respond to number two. He, None of these niggas is number two. He didn't kill it's, nobody. It's easy. Though. It's easy. Like, if, if you number 900, I can say two bars and you're done. If that you're shit. number two, you have to have enough clout. You gotta have enough fan base. Motherfuckers gotta already be like, nah, this might be something. Man, Jay Z responded it. to everyone, so it ain't like nobody. I disagree. It just depends on your love for the game. Like some niggas might feel like they too good for something. Some niggas just take on all sport. Like 
feel me? Like, you, you feel like you need to take on all, all sports? For me? Yeah. I don't because I feel like in Cincinnati, the rappers be broke. Like my whole my that be my whole thing. Like I'm only only reason I'm responding to you is if you got enough rap power or you got enough street power. Like if you like number twenty in a city or twenty uh, niggas that be bombing on me be a hundred and they be broke <laughs> as hell. Like you feel me? Like, I don't gotta worry about nobody <laughs> like that. Like if yo unless your buzz get too big with it or something like then I gotta I gotta I gotta handle it. You feel me? Like I don't gotta handle niggas in the city because niggas be broke. Like I'm talking about. Real live, bro. Like niggas be rapping and be having one hundred dollars to their name and shit. Like we not about to rap with y'all. <laughs> and niggas like, man, it's about talent, ain't about money. It's about everything. Is about money, bro. You can't, you can't do nothing in life without money, bro. So uh, I don't know. I'm not responding to nobody unless they street buzz too high or they they success buzz too high. Then you feel like you got to. Yeah, because it's like I'm in the street, so I can't let everywhere I pull up. I'm be, I be on every block, like. I be down, I be on Carpland, I be on the Ridgeway, I be on Harrison, I be on fucking downtown on Hot Block with them niggas. I be everywhere. So if I'm pulling up everywhere, they be like, oh, bro, dude, on your ass. Like, they gonna, that's how niggas is. I'm in the street for real. So niggas gonna be on, like, man, it's niggas that I never had that. Like, everybody be bombing on me. They be fuck niggas. Nigga, you go look at search and be luck this. It's all weird ass niggas that's never coming out and shit. Like, <laughs> they ain't never getting no views on it or nothing, bro. <laughs> Nigga try to give me a CD in the barbershop after he bombed on me, bro. Man, I slapped that shit to Columbus. It might be on your old porch, bro. <laughs> I know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's that's it. That that's why right there. That's why they don't like you, love. Yeah, it's cool. That's, that's cool. why. That's why. That's it's cool because I, I can be the bad guy because ain't nobody gonna do nothing, bro. That's that's what I had to learn. I just had to tell Cook that like, don't keep taking the back seat because people gonna think like you could say anything to these rappers because when they see you, they never mean what they said on the internet, or they gonna be like, oh, you still you really on that? That's what niggas gonna be on, bro. I'm. Cause I'm really on what I'm on every day, and I'm and niggas just with me. They gonna be on it too. So, man, listen, I ain't man, no, no. So why'd you stop the battles? We are gonna get back to that. Why, why'd you stop the battles? I stopped why? the battles because all the niggas niggas coming to the battles humble as fuck when don't nobody know them. And then when they start popping, they start acting like, oh uh, man, I uh I got an album coming out, or man, you gotta talk to my agent and all. Like man, eat a dick, dude. You ain't even more popular than me. How you gonna try to act like you too good for the battles when nobody uh, people only know you because of the battles, like? And you can't do the battles without a headliner. Like, I got a million undercards. People want to do the battles every day. But without a person that put asses in seats, there's no point. In, my, my battles got overhead. I ain't doing my shit in old closed-down stores and warehouses and shit. I'm doing my battles at big-ass nightclubs and shit. So I got to pay security. I got to pay the club. I got to pay for You can't do it unless you got a heavy hitter. So there ain't really no niggas that's worth, that's still trying to do it for real. But I might I might put together like some kind of tournament this summer to bring it back and make get new niggas popping or some shit like probably do like a like a bracket like an NCAA shit and they just eliminate niggas every week or two or some shit. You gotta you gotta keep bringing the culture. Nah, I mean, I'm, you, I'm, you gotta keep bringing. I'm the that. only person that yeah, do it. I'm about to say I mean niggas niggas know you did it, but you need more credit for it. How do I because need more you credit did, from you from Columbus? You, you don't know. I get all my credit. I, I, I know. No, I you get don't. all my credit. No, you don't. I get all no, my credit. You, no, you don't. You just said niggas don't even know that you write movies. No, I ain't saying that because the mu- the movie ain't out yet. But I'm I saying you just when you, the you movie just dropped, they gonna know I did it. You, you just but said, I'm saying my legacy is strong. You, you said I think. do a lot of shit and I don't get credit for it. No, because I, I don't. Want, I don't no, I'm want saying because I don't want credit for it. I'm saying like like it's niggas that don't rap with me or nothing that I don't wrote treatments for their videos. It's niggas that I don't helped out like picked out wardrobe and all that. I'm a player like all around the board. I'm on some. That's what I do every and day. And what I said is you need to get credit for it. But I'm saying I don't need credit for every single thing. My legacy gonna be is is gonna be forever. Like the Cincinnati riot. If I die today. My shit going down That I put all these niggas on Like the battles My shit If I die today I brought the battles I brought the riot to the city I did all the shit Like all the Back in the day shit Like Cincinnati Idol All that shit Like Beat Gang all that, Come on man Mr. Miyagi All that shit I can go right now Like if, if I cared about City accomplishments I don't give a fuck about that shit But I am Goo-wop around here For sure Niggas need to know that. Niggas need to know because don't nobody call you goo up around here. That's what I'm that's saying. Because that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm saying you should get more credit for what you no, do. I'm not real, diminishing no, your No, the real niggas do. I'm saying, the real should, niggas do, but you got to think most of the rappers is bitch ass niggas. Well, we need to let the bitch ass niggas know then. Yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Like. That's cool. What you got for luck, Luke? I ain't got shit. <laughs> Lou chilling. Lou got his Cincinnati glasses Ryan on, man. Four, man. July Four. Make sure y'all go see that, man. Is, is everybody picked out already? No, nah, the- I ain't picked nobody yet. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I ain't picked no. I just got the beat today. 
Yeah. Like the beat just got finished because it's two producers. Cardi making a beat and X making a beat together. They just finished the beat today. I'm so, trying to hear the beat. Yeah, because I the ones I the beats that I put out wasn't a real beat. So, so now I gotta like weed out the people and get it down. And this year I'm doing like every every year I get more turned up with my business and shit because I gotta make sure everything right. So I gotta write out the contracts and waivers and all the shit. All the disclosure forms motherfuckers are signed so they won't because last time niggas was niggas was telling people that they was on a riot early or coming like inviting people to come out to their scene and all that shit and people knew what was going on basically on the riot before it dropped and it fucked up the surprise of the shit. So man, I got I got a lot of like legal shit to do behind it now because I'm doing more with it. Like I'm I'm putting that shit I put it on World Star last time, but I'm putting it on my mixtapes. I'm putting it up I'm putting doing a mixtape with it and everything with DJ H D and DJ Red Effects. We're doing a riot season mixtape, so it's gonna be a lot bigger this time. And we got sponsors. We got Lonesome. We got uh, Vengeance seventy eight. We got we got we got a lot of shit going on this time, man. So it's gonna well, we got Timeless Recording Studios too. Shout out to X. Fuck with X, my nigga Evan. Yeah. This is this is one of my top threes, look. Yeah, yeah cause it's this this cool. one of my top threes, man. Yeah, I went to the uh, I went to the Culture concert too. I think I seen y'all down there. Yeah, um, I seen you there. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna talk to you there, but. It was. I, I really. was hella. I it didn't want to talk much. to nobody. It was it hella was rappers that wanted. To, yeah, this is definitely. You one see of my all that shit. All that, it was hella rappers. Everybody that said they was gonna do something to me. It was hella rappers shaking hands and doing all that. What's up, bro? Let me get your number. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry, man. Somebody was. I heard you had a fight video. I didn't get the chance to see it, man. A fight video? Yeah. They said it was a fight with you fighting somebody or something. Oh, uh, man, listen. Somebody was supposed to send it to some, me. I didn't see it. There's some playing shit. Nigga, I'm high as hell. I got fully, I'm fully clothed. I'm fighting one of my niggas. And I'm high as hell on lean. I got on boots and everything. We boxing and shit in the gym, just playing around and shit. Like, it's in the gym? You know, yeah, we in the, in the ring. You know anything. Anything niggas that go on. Niggas nigga, be No, anything in the ring. Come on, man. If it's a fight video of me, boy, <laughs> we wouldn't even be having this conversation, bro. Like, ain't no, no. <laughs> Man, listen, man. This is some. This is my nigga. Like, man, yeah. come on, man. Niggas, nigga, put their hands on me, boy. They never fighting again, ever, mm. ever. <laughs> I love this interview. Ever. <laughs> I appreciate your point of view because I feel like you hold no, you don't hold hands, and I feel like I, I don't either. I feel like I'm always going to get my opinion, no matter who in the room, no matter yeah, that's who watching, I, who listening, and that's what I appreciate about you. But I can understand why people don't like you. Yeah, that's but cool. That's neither here nor there for me. I fuck with you. Luke, but, get my, go but ahead. If, but if you, I be wanting people to, I don't know, because it's kind of gift and a curse. Like that shit, motherfuckers know what it is with me, but at the same time, just because I am that outspoken and motherfuckers put that in when they weigh in the, weigh in the verses and shit. You feel me? When they weigh in the, weigh in the lyrics, they don't like me, so they really don't want to give me no kind of credit. Niggas don't. That's what Vern said. Well, yeah. That's what Vern said. And I was like, why don't more people say it, it was because it, People just don't like luck, and I'm like, why? He was, he, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. But I don't, I don't look at that. I don't look at that. I listen to the music, and that was why when I said what I said about Uncle Obama, I was like, I just, I don't think he's top ten. Is because it was just strictly off of music. It wasn't because yeah, nah, they was going. They, yeah, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it was because of the street shit. Dude the, is probably yeah, dude is probably from up that way. He probably know him personally, and you feel me? All that shit. I don't, I don't do none of that. Well, there it is, man. Luke, give out your social medias, dog. Y'all can follow me at Talud on everything. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I'm back on Twitter. Shit, that's it. Luck, where can they get to you? Uh, get you at, man. Where can they? Instagram, Snapchat, to? Twitter, Badass Luck, B A D A Z Z L U C K, Gmail, Badass Luck. Uh, send your songs to Cincinnati Riot 4 at gmail.com if you want to be. Uh, I'm part of the mixtape series And Facebook is Bandrew Luck Fourth Quarter Hero You know what I mean When does it end? When is the submission You're not taking no more? No, I'm always taking Submission for the songs I'm not taking no more Riot verses But for the songs I'm a, It's gonna be a, a Mixtape series So if you don't make one You might make another And we doing We gonna do like Three to five thousand copies Every month We gonna put it on Spotify iTunes JPay We gonna put it on All the sources So if you don't know How to get your music out there Come fuck with Goo Out. <laughs> now, I'm gonna get it out there for you. <laughs> there it is. I'm after party E. Instagram, Twitter, 
Facebook. Make sure you follow the podcast, After Party underscore podcast, iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that one shit. Thanks, Luck, for coming through. It's fucking right, man. two in the morning. I know Damn. you got a flight. It's it. It's lit, man. After Party podcast, man. Fuck with us.